Hi, this is Linda Shea with Drilling Contractor, reporting from the IADC Drilling Engineers Committee Q3 Technology Forum in Houston. Joining me today is John Dale, who is CEO of Electrical Subsea and Drilling. John, thank you for being here. Thank you. So John, can you tell us about the electrical BOP, its main features, and mainly how you were able to get its weight to be just about half of t what today's BOPs are? Okay, well, uh, first of all, I need to clarify one thing. This uh, BOP could be used on LAN, the platform, Jacobs, semis, and also drill ship. Um, where we are having the biggest saving is obviously when you go subsea and deep water because you don't have to have the hydraulic system uh, with accumulator and things like that, and we're replacing that with electrical batteries, okay? So just to give you a picture for land drilling, what you can do there is basically you save all day the Kumi unit, the HPU, the accumulator, the pipeline, the manifold, and the flexible hoses. And that again gives you like three to four truckloads saving per rig move. Plus you're also saving all the uh, nipple up and nipple down of the BOP on site. That gives you somewhere between eight to 12 hours saving per rig move. And that could be a lot of hours and time span saved, sorry, based on that. Subsea, that's obviously where you have the biggest uh, saving because, as I said, there is no accumulators in the system. And that means you can go as deep you want because the BOP don't see any difference between 50 meters below sea level or 4,000 meters. So that's the main beauty with that. And then when you're taking away the accumulator and all the hydraulic system, that's where your 45% saving of weight comes in. That gives you the opportunity to re-entry to uh, old wellheads uh, and you don't have fatigue issue from that point of view. So where are you now in terms of developing the technology and taking it to market commercialization? We were finished with the testing of the electrical system in October 2016. So after that, it's been very quiet from that point of view. We have now got our LOI from a company called Arker BP in Norway to um, focus on getting the machine drawings done and also take the control system to building it. And that means we are in a position right now where we can basically order raw material to get started and produce the BOP. That's where we are. What kinds of cost savings are possible with this technology? Well, if you take off uh, all the hydraulic control system, um, there is um, right there a huge saving. And uh, also, you have to remember that you have to install all this equipment onto the rig or the drill ship. And that means you don't have to do that anymore either. So the saving here, both on space and weight and also everything else coming with that, is huge. So I don't want to mention any numbers, but I can say to you that is uh, very large compared to what you have today. The price of the BOP will be more or less the same. Uh, because you know you have that same layout, but since you're taking away the control system, that's where your biggest savings are. And what do you think will be the major challenges for the industry to adopt this technology? We need our champions, and obviously, when they believe in this, then they're going to take this into the field. And to do that, we also need our drilling contractor with us. So because they normally buy this equipment, not the operator. Uh, apart from if it goes on the platform, then sometimes the operator can go and do that. We need someone that believes in this and are thinking uh, you know, new and also think about saving the environmental because you know we don't have any BOP fluid on this system as well. So there is a lot of savings you know, for the operator and the drilling contractor to go electrical. And it's just the timing. I think that uh, is what's working against us, but it will come. Well, thank you so much for being here, John, and good luck with your project. Thanks for being here. And thank you, viewers, for joining us on drillingcontractor.org. <laughs>